That huge surf that he's been talking about now for a few days, it did not disappoint. It kept emergency medical services busy as 19 rescues were made and around 3,400 preventative warnings were issued to try and keep people safe in the water and on shore. Yeah, busy day for lifeguards. Our Shanila Kabir joins us now live from Waimea Bay tonight. She's been out there all day. Shanila, how's it looking now? <laughs> Mika Jai, this significant northwest swell is continuing to bring in these strong and dangerous waves that peaked over 40 foot today. So here, here at Waimea Beach, you can see the shoreline is still restricted. I'm going to get out of the way and show you guys. So forecasters said the winter swell is coming in larger than expected. And as you mentioned, a high surf warning has been issued until six o'clock Sunday morning for the north and west facing shores of Nihihau, Kauai, Oahu and Molokai. And the north shores of Maui. So surf on north shores is expected to lower to 25 to 35 feet overnight and into the morning and lowering again into 20 to 25 feet Saturday night. So during my time here, people were pulling off to the sides of the road and taking pictures of the big waves. I saw very little people getting into the water and some surfers are advising everyone not to. Thank you for I look for sun, fun size waves ranging from four to six feet, but today is absolutely big. Um, I'm not willing to get hurt. Um, that's why I listen to the lifeguards and I stay out of the water. Another surfer told me he had the biggest wipeout today and he's not going back in. And I also spoke to a lieutenant at Ocean Safety and he said they were staffed with maximum capacity today. They had jet skis and boats and all the towers were filled. And he just urges for whoever wants to go out into the waters, just really know your limits. Reporting live at the North Shore, I'm Shanila Kabir, KITV4 Island News. Thanks, Shanila. The Maui Fire Department has called off the search for a missing swimmer off Kapalua. A 42-year-old California man had been missing since Monday. He was last seen jumping off the rocks at a spot called Cliff House. Witnesses say the man jumped and never reemerged.